So can he use AC262 for a longer period of time on TRT? And my answer is, hey yeah. guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about TRT and AC262. I had a subscriber asking me if he can take AC262 for a longer period of time since he is on TRT. And so I'm going to talk about that real quick. Before I get into that, though, this is not medical advice. SARMs are not approved for human use by the FDA, so don't be using this as any kind of direction. I'm not suggesting that you should use them. Make sure you talk to your doctor first and get your doctor's direction on utilizing these products. So I'm not authorized to give you medical advice, and so don't take this as medical advice. Please, for your own safety, just do what's right. So <clears throat> to get into this guy's question, he's saying that he is on TRT year-round already, and so he's wondering if he can run AC262 for a longer period of time. And he's saying he wants to run it for, <clears throat> and he's saying he wants to run it for a longer cycle than normal. So he's asking for advice on that. So to get into this question, once again, this is not medical advice, but yes, if you're running TRT year round, your testosterone level is secure, right? SARMs and such aren't going to affect the baseline testosterone. If you're injecting, let's say, 200 milligrams a week for easy math, you're going to have that 200 milligrams per week year round in your system, right? Now, what SARMs can do is they can influence how much of your testosterone is free. So a SARM is a selective antigen receptor modulator attaches to the antigen receptors within the muscles, right? So when you take a SARM, those antigen receptors become occupied by the SARM, which then frees up some testosterone to become free testosterone. And that's where guys often become confused, I think, between SARMs and increasing testosterone. So you see guys like Tony Huge talk about how EC262 increases testosterone. It's probably that it's increasing free testosterone, right? So if a guy was all natural and then he added in AC262, there'd be an initial spike in testosterone and free testosterone from the AC262 alleviating those antigen receptors and the testosterone that would be otherwise utilized by those androgen receptors, it is now showing up as free testosterone at an increased level. And then with a couple of weeks of use, then the natural testosterone production would then taper off. And I think a lot of guys have already shown that in their lab work and proven that theory to be correct. So can he use AC262 for a longer period of time on TRT? And my answer is yes. As long as you're doing lab work before, during, and after the cycle, right? I have guys that they've told me they've been on AC262 for over six months and they haven't had any issues on their labs, but they're also running a low dose of 10 milligrams per day, right? Uh, one buddy of mine is running 10 milligrams a day of AC262 and 10 milligrams a day of Austrian year round. So we'll see how that turns out for him. I haven't heard back from him in a while, so I need to do a call with him and see how his labs are looking. That being said, as long as you're doing the labs and checking you know, your liver markers, your cholesterol levels, all of those things, you need to be keeping an eye on them, right? Because with time, Issues can be small at first, and with time, they can grow bigger and bigger, and eventually you'll have an issue that's serious, right, if you don't mitigate it up front. So the only way you're going to know about issues is by doing the labs on a regular basis so that you can see the blood markers and know what's going on within your body. But the theory is that, yes, as long as you're not having any adverse side effects from the AC262, in theory, you should be able to run it year-round while you're on TRT, right, because you don't have to worry about the TRT. The, you don't have to worry about the testosterone suppression from utilizing the SARM. That being said, if you're on a higher dose of TRT, maybe 200 milligrams a week, and you're doing your labs, you'll be able to see how much your free testosterone level has increased. This is where side effects may come in for a lot of guys. If your free testosterone level has skyrocketed, your body is able to convert that free testosterone into other hormones like DHT or prolactin or estrogen, right? And so that's where guys are seeing side effects related to SARMs while they're on a TRT cycle. A lot of times they'll have, they'll have these side effects and they'll equate it to having a high estrogen level or maybe a low testosterone level and they're not actually doing labs so they're just making assumptions on how they feel and this must be the actual issue, right? So you see guys, they're on SARMs and they're on TRT and all of a sudden they're popping an AI and they break out an acne, right? And they don't know what's going on because they didn't do the labs. Chances are their free testosterone went up and it converted to DHT and that's what's causing their acne, not a high estrogen level. But now they've knocked their estrogen into the ground and now they're having side effects of ED maybe or something else. And that's why labs are important, guys. You can't just say, oh, I feel depressed today or my dick isn't working today or oh, I think that my nipples are itching today. It has to be estrogen, right? You don't know what it is until you do labs. And by just taking a stab in the dark and taking something else to prevent the side effect, you might be taking completely the wrong thing and actually creating additional side effects or making your side effect way worse. So that's just my little rant on combining TRT with SARMs. Yes, I think AC2 is very safe in comparison to a lot of the other SARMs. It is probably 
you know, same level with Austrian as far as being a safe SARM. And when I say safe, that's just bro science safe, right? Like doctor might think it's worse than meth or he might think it's, you know, for you than creatine. Depends on the doctor, right? So take everything with a grain of salt, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you subscribe. I'll see you in another video soon and take care.